Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to sew our pointed cup corset top made for drag queens. Let's get started. We're going to sew the pointed cup corset top sewing pattern available at catcow.net or on my Etsy shop linked below. This pattern comes with A0, A4, and US letter PDFs, as well as instructions and the fabric yardage needed. As mentioned, we make patterns for drag queens, meaning our sizes run large. So please refer to our included sizing chart to find your cat cow size. This pattern is available in extra small to 4X. Once you've downloaded the pattern, you simply want to print it out and assemble the pages. For detailed info on printer settings and how to assemble your pages, please view the separate video linked at the top. Remember to review the size chart before cutting your paper pattern pieces. Once cut, your paper pattern pieces should include three bra cups, three interfacing bra cups with the seam allowance removed, four front pieces where front one is the center front and two, three, and four are moving towards the side, and two back pieces, back one being the center back where we will install a separating zipper and back two being the back side. These pieces include a half inch seam allowance, to get your seams to line up perfectly, I like to draw dots where the seams should begin and end. So just drawing in that half inch seam allowance at the points. Um, and this will help you to know where the seam should be lined up, end and sewn. Here's an example of how the pattern pieces will be sewn. I've simply overlapped the seam allowance and taped the pages together. For this garment, I'm going to use a stretch metallic vinyl fabric. I'm not going to line this top, however you can if you wish. Just make sure to use a lining fabric that has a similar stretch. I'm also going to use an ultra firm fusible interfacing to give the bra cups more structure. We can then trace and cut out our fabric pieces. Puncture holes where you've marked your dots and make sure to transfer those dots over to your fabric. And here's the cutout fabric for one side of our garment. Before we begin sewing, you want to fuse the interfacing onto the bra cups making sure the glue side is facing the wrong side of the bra cups. I like to layer the interfacing and fabric in between some scrap muslin just to protect the metallic layer and to protect my iron from getting any glue residue on it. We can then sew the inner and outer bra cups together, right sides facing each other along the center curve. Then the top bra cup to the inner and outer cups along the top curve, right sides facing each other. And here we have our bra cups. Gather your three front pieces. We're going to sew front one to front two, right sides facing each other making sure the dots match up before clipping and sewing. I like to use clips instead of pins so we don't puncture any holes into the fabric. We're going to sew and repeat for front two and front three. Then on the wrong side, we want to sew Rigelin boning to the seams first. You can choose which side of the seam you want to um, sew the boning onto depending on if you want the bones facing the center front or facing the side. Measure the boning to match the length in between the dots or approximately one inch 
less than the total seam length. And repeat for all of your seams, which we will add boning to. We're then going to press the boning and the seams down so that everything will be sewn flat. Then sew the boning down to the seams. And once that's done, we can then flip the seam over to the opposite side. Then top stitch the seam down on the right side of the garment using a zipper foot sewing as close to the bone as possible. Here's what it should look like. We can then clip off any excess seam fabric at the bottom and top. Now we can clip and sew our bra cups onto the front pieces. The cup's center seam should line up with the front 2 and 3 seam. Once sewn, we can then sew the excess seam fabric facing down on the right side of the garment, top stitching along the curve. Now we can sew the front four and back pieces all together, similarly to how we sewn the front pieces with boning. Once both sides are sewn, we can then sew them together along the center front. First, we want to cut a half inch snippet where the dots start to allow for easier hemming later. We can then stack them right sides facing each other and sew along the center front. Once sewn, we're going to press open the seam and instead we're going to install two pieces of boning. So one bone on each seam first and then flip it over to the right side and top stitch down both of those bones. And your front should look just like this. Now we can install a separating zipper to the two back pieces. So first lay the right side of the zipper to the right side of the fabric and sew that down. We're then going to sew boning to the wrong side of that zipper and then flip it over and top stitch them together. This will give more structure to the zipper in the back. And then repeat for the opposite side. And here is your sewn zipper. For the last step, we can hem along the top and bottom. If you decide to include lining, this is where you'd want to stack your lining and shell fabric, sew them together along the top edge, flip them both inside out, and then you can hem the bottom or add a bias trim to the bottom. Totally up to you. I just wanted to use one layer for this project. And here's the finished top. If you create this garment, please tag at catcow or at I'm Sour Mandy. And if you're interested in more drag queen pattern tutorials, please check out the videos I have on my channel. And please like and subscribe. Bye everyone!